you doing selling paperwork and not giving you the education with it, run like hell, because nine times out of ten, it will get you in trouble with it, because this is a double-edged sword. You need to know what you're doing with it. Um, basically, um, I don't know exactly what a lot of people have asked me when I'm going to release the, the 13 week and when I can find a way to release it in a, a safe environment from being bastardized. That's what I will do. But I will say that I am scheduled to do a class uh, in New Jersey sometime in July or August. I'll put my email up in my um, website if anybody's interested. I'm going to try to make it as advanced as possible. My email is a share up. At Earthling. Yeah. I really can't see it back here, but this is dot net. And the website is small one word. So, and I'm saying this because a great deal of my time is spent talking to people on the telephone, answering emails, and it's a shame that you have people in our community that is intentionally putting out misinformation and intentionally getting people tracked up. T sister, so, tell them the name of the website because it was hard to see on the camera. Okay, the shrine of my art .com. You know, and uh, most of these Moorish organizations, their greatest thing is to say we're here to uplift all the humanity. And that starts with each one of us uplifting ourselves before we go after humanity. And we have to bring the integrity back to this Moorish nation. We have to bring the principles of Ma'at, the amount of, of craziness that I've recently seen in the Moorish community makes me almost ashamed to want to say that I'm more. We have to grow up, be responsible, take responsibility and not do the fast food sovereignty routine. We have to study and do the necessary work if we are to nation build and uplift fallen humanity. And a lot of people don't want to hear that because that's not popular, that's not cute, that's not, but that's the reality. So until we're ready to be sovereign, instead of play sovereign, we're always going to have problems. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have to say. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. one more time for Sister Mara. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, please take me. Because I know of a lot of brothers who are in jail. Because they said they were sovereign. And they were up there in front of everybody talking about being sovereign, trying to be up in front of judges talking certain language. And all they did was look at these fools and gave them some time. <laughs> It's good. It's work good. Okay. Uh, we're black. We're black. And we feel good. Yes, sir. Today. All right. Y'all here for the duration? Yes, sir. Yes, sure now. Yes, sir. Because uh, there's going to be some stuff we're going to talk about that might not sit too well. Oh, by the way, for anybody who wants to deal or support me with some of these uh, little tapes I have left. I have a, uh, I have a, uh, a uh, PowerPoint presentation on natural healing and health that uh, we can uh, do a little bartering or what it goes over. And uh, I did a, a personal one-on-one -on -one interview yesterday. And I guess, I don't know if it's already been sold, but I also have this personal one-on-one -on -one interview with Brother Azariah that came out pretty good. And I think, uh, you know, if you want to support brothers and sisters, uh, how much? 
talking about something that I believe is going to be of a uh, serious ramifications because when I talked about the fact that we have to deal with hyperdimensional mind, hyperdimensional combat, hyperdimensional warfare, and studying the tactics of hyperdimensional warfare, I wasn't kidding. Because what you're about to find out is why we need to be, ah, here come fam. <laughs> oh, my family is here. My family is here, and my grandson is here. Oh, bring him down here. Hey, bring my grandson down here. Ladies and gentlemen, my daughter, my granddaughter, my grandson, my ex-wife, uh, Tariq, this is my... Ah, hey, my grandson. Hey, my granddaughter. <laughs> Uh, I guess he's tired. Yeah. What's happening? Linebacker extraordinaire. Boy cracks people on the field. It's no joke. And scholarship material. He's a brain. It's not fun. Chief sister. What we got going here, the reason why I'm talking about hyperdimensional um, combat is because the fight now has been taken to another level. The technologies to make sure you stay in lockdown is in place. They got at least 2,000 satellites at any given moment just over the United States alone. And I'm talking about the rest of the world. We have a veritable, uh, what can I call it? log jam and again like I said to you the shuttle is a military project and as a result it's used to maintain these particular satellites in place in orbit and they're building a space station now because they don't know what they're going to do they want to see about getting these elite up off the earth while it goes through its chain cycle but they they, they, they can run but they can't hide so what I'm going to speak to you on right now has to do with why you must be prepared for hyperdimensional combat. Because of what it is that the adversary has at his command. You have to become so knowledgeable of self and so deleted and so uh, cleansed of all of your somatic appetites because they attack you through what you have become addicted to. You can become addicted or entrained by specific light frequencies that come to you through commercials. So that you hear in your head a ditty and don't know why you're singing it while you're taking a leap. <laughs> Going through a conditioning process and the conditioning process of mind creates psychosomatic appetites that make you do things third and fourth level that are connected but you can't connect the dots. You don't know why you have this yen for ice cream. You don't have yen for this. It's because you've been somatically project, you've been somatically programmed through something that you didn't think was connected to that program. And so you have a network of jamming frequencies from the frequency fence that is now working on your psyche, trying to shut down your evolutionary consciousness mobility. Remember I said that you were a portable paradise. You are God and you are heaven. The kingdom of heaven is within you. So now we got the fallen ones that are trying to circumvent you coming out this paradigm because like parasites, if the host gets better, the parasite dies. Right. So the parasite needs to keep the host thinking that this is who he or she is so they can feed on that ignorance, on all the results of that ignorance. And the more you act the way you act, the more the parasite gets stronger. And the parasite can't direct, directly affect you. He cannot attack you directly. He does it indirectly through your needs, your wants, your appetites that you create. And so once he starts playing on your appetites, once he starts working your appetites, that's it. He's got you.